Now the most acid food we could think of or drink, anybody can think of, raise your hand if you know. So the phosphoric acid is enough to eat the paint of your car up. The idea of acid and alkaline is really prominent. I'm sure you must know somebody or if you're taking some kind of antacid medication. Ooh. Hi everybody, this is Dr. Beck, the Kosher Functional Nutrition Channel. Welcome back. And today we have a very important subject. And related to our diet, it's the acid and alkaline balance. Many times I've had this question, I've explained this to my patients over the years. Very important because the basic nature of our bodies and of all earthly uh, existence is pH, pH balance. So pH is represented from 1 to 14 where 7 is neutral. Now a lot of patients have too much acid. They have reflux. You have so many patients taking antacid medications. So the idea of acid and alkaline is really prominent. I'm sure you must know somebody or if you're taking some kind of antacid medication. We'll talk about that particularly in, the, in, the, in relation to GERD and reflux, maybe in a future video, uh, but it's, it's a really important subject. So here I'm going to summarize the whole acid-alkaline balance. Now the blood is 7.4 our blood in humans. Too low would become immediately death and too high will create the same not good situation. So the body is constantly working on homeostasis, on balance to keep the blood pH at 7.4. Now if we eat a lot of junky foods that's too much acid like sugar, meats, orange juice, dairy products, so when the body feels that there's too much acid it will have to create through the kidneys mostly the balance of taking out the acid, taking calcium maybe out of the bones and teeth etc. to balance it. There's a constant movement in our body to keep the blood at 7.4. Now I have a few charts here. The chart says that basically we should be eating 80 percent alkaline foods or alkaline forming foods. That's a little tricky and maybe some confusion but I'll explain it and 20% of our diet should be acid. Now diseases like arthritis, cancer, skin problems like eczema and psoriasis, etc. I'm sure also you know, especially in kids, if you guys are raising children and they've had eczema issues, when you take them off acid products it's really helpful, like orange juice. Now, um, so these all conditions are occurring in an acid environment. Health is in an alkaline environment. Um, alkaline foods would be lemons, even though you might think a lemon is acidic, it's alkaline forming. But oranges are not so, and oranges are acid and not so great. And if you think about it, orange juice is a concentration of, I don't know how many oranges go into that one container of juice, that's besides the chemicals and the um, pesticides and herbicides, etc in orange juice, so it's really not a great product. Now the most acid food we could think of or drink, anybody can think of, raise your hand if you know, is something like Coca-Cola. So the phosphoric acid is enough to eat the paint of your car up. Or if you put a tooth in Coca-Cola, it'll eat up the tooth in a couple of days or one night. So those are extremely acid foods, citric acid in drinks, Coca-Cola with phosphoric acid. It's really harmful and poisonous to our bodies. So now if we're keeping our bodies at a low acid and very high alkaline, what are we supposed to be eating? So we look over here and it says we should be eating 60% of our diet is vegetables and except the nightshades. There are only five vegetables that are growing or ripening by the moon, not by the sun. Uh, it's written in the Bible. And those are potatoes, tomatoes, eggplant, and bell peppers. And the low should be avoided. But the green vegetables like spinach and, and romaine lettuce and, ch and chard, etc., broccoli, these, these vegetables are the primary source of vitamins and minerals and of alkalizing our body. I did a video on magnesium, how important that is. And we find magnesium in green leafy vegetables. So uh, you can look at that in the archive. And so alkaline forming foods like fruits and berries, 
Uh, blueberries are really importantly healthy. Now, just as an aside, if you're eating too many foods like strawberries, which are the most highly sprayed with, again, insecticides and pesticides, then you might not getting the value of the alkalization. So just be careful, and if at all possible, always, and on all my talks, we talk about trying to bet, get organic foods or locally grown foods that are not sprayed heavily and very commercialized. Now, protein should be about 10% and starch about 10%. Now, remember that if you eat beans and rice, let's say bre organic brown rice and beans, you're getting the same amount of protein, the same amino acids, as eating a piece of steak or a piece of salmon. So you don't really need animal protein, which is very acidic. But the whole life of this is called balance. So we always get back to my holistic triangle of balance. If we're in balance, we're healthy. So if we had a, a salmon, a beautiful salmon steak, which is a protein, which is acidic, but we have it with a big salad, so then we're balanced, and that's how we're supposed to eat. So no matter what you eat, whether you have an avocado for breakfast or a couple of uh, organic eggs, Always have some, either um, a cucumber or some lettuce or some celery or really radishes are the most alkalizing food. And on my website I have a list of all alkalizing foods and, um, and uh, the most alkalizing foods. So that's on drbeck.com. Now, so if we look at the holistic triangle, I put over here anxiety because there's a mental component to everything including acid alkali. So anxiety, worry, negative emotions, resentment, jealousy will create in our bodies an abundance of acid. And that's why we know some people will say, oh, my eczema came out really worse because I had a big argument with somebody yesterday. I have a lot of stress. So we know that's the mind-body psychosomatic connection. Very important. Now physical, if this is the area of our bodies where our thyroid is, it's also the parathyroid which helps the calcium absorption into the system. So if we didn't have enough alkalinity, we would create it, like I said before. If the neck is so tight from stress and lack of exercise and maybe sitting at your computer for eight hours a day, and people are always telling me, I'm sure you know, you know, please massage my neck. You know, can you give me an adjustment, massage my neck? I'm so tight. So that's the parathyroid, very important. And to keep that balance in our bodies, not to get too acidic. Acidic. Now, walking and breathing, so doing breathing exercises, taking a walk, exercising like jumping rope, that will reduce the carbon dioxide and increase alkalinity. So this is again a picture of what I do as a holistic functional doctor to balance everything. Now looking over here we say that we should be eating a lot more raw foods and not cook. Once we cook something it takes the the, the chiyut, the nutrition, and the life out of it. So we could be having a salad a few times a day. You could have a bowl of soup for the, in the evening with a salad. The main meal of the day should be lunch, and then to rest afterwards, like fiesta, like most of the world does. And the lunch could be a protein, but it could also be beans and rice and a salad with a sweet potato or some squash or zucchini. And then you have a whole rounded out sort of vegetarian diet, which you're not necessarily needing, the animal proteins. But we do get, in this country, there's available organic meat, and organic chicken, and organic eggs. And so if it's available, and it's kosher, and it's healthy, it's fine as long as you balance it with the vegetables. So we could eat a lot more raw foods, and, uh, and then some cooked foods. If you cook, let's say, the beans, you could use the broth and use it in a soup again, because a lot of the nutrients will be found in the water that's, that's left in the pot. Okay, so to summarize again, health is alkaline, the blood has to be alkaline, we don't want to have uh, too much acid in our body, the worst acids are like diet sodas and sodas and Coca-Cola and orange juice, uh, or, and, and sugar. So remember, every time you have sugar, all the nash, we just had a holiday called Purim, which is like the Jewish Halloween, Lots of sugar went around. It's very, very acidic. It causes all kinds of troubles again. So, um, uh, good things to eat are the greens and apple cider vinegar, which makes us alkaline. I take a spoon every morning. So, any other questions you have, please comment and share this. Any other particular issues you want me to talk about in the future, let me know. 
uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell. You'll know when my next video is. And thank you very much for watching.